All right, so Vercel just announced Next.js 13.2 last week. All right, so let's check out what is new and dive right into it. All right, before we start the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell to not miss out on our new videos. All right, it's not necessary for you to do so, but it will be very very cool if you did yeah all right so without further ado let's start right away all right first up let's talk about route handlers okay so over here we are at a next.js 13.2 project so before next.js 13.2 for api routes okay we have to use the pages directory and the api directory under pages and over here for example we have a hello.ts file and you can see over here right to check for whether it's a post or get method here we have to do this nested if else statement right not to mention if we need want to do more or the other methods for example right it becomes very messy yeah and it's not good uh, code right? if, if, essentially yeah so for next.js 13.2 instead of doing this right so let's remove this i'm going to delete that right move to trash we do not need that anymore okay you can now have route handlers in the app directory so under app okay now you can have an api sub directory and inside here say for example you can say products or even hello and over here now you can see that we can define for example both the get and the post function for their respective methods and of course you can do the same thing for say delete put patch and whatnot yeah so for example now if we go to the right on chrome if you go to api slash hello right we'll see hello next.js yeah which is what we define here right so this is very very convenient yeah you can easily know where your route handlers are at right due to this new big i would say one of the more important changes in next js 13.2 yeah all right in addition for that right the same can be said for dynamic route handlers so over here we have a products directory and of course, under that, we have a special dynamic route identifier, which is ID, and of course, the route.ts under it. And over here, we have a get function that handles the request. And based on the URL, return the respective product. Okay, and this is the endpoint for products slash the ID. All right, and over here, we have a data list page server component okay with another server component to retrieve the data right and what this data server component does is basically just to get the data from our products endpoint yeah so let's go to the right yeah okay and if we say slash data list it will give us the data the information returned from the API endpoint, right, which is what we see over here. Yeah. So, for example, if I say, uh, let's change this to one, for example, right, save. And you see that the information has changed. Yeah. And of course, we can always change how we fetch this ID here. Okay, by modifying the information here as well. Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of ways to go about doing this. Okay, but there you have it. The power and convenience of the new route handlers for API. All right, the second most interesting change is the new metadata API or built-in SEO support. All right, starting from Next.js 13.2. All right, so over here, okay, we are at the root layout. And you can see above here, we have a new export constant metadata. 
And here you can define your title and description for your entire app. So if we go to the right over here at Chrome, and if we go to inspect, you can see that at the head portion here, okay, we have the title. Okay, let me just zoom in so you can see it better. Okay, create next app and the description as well. All right, let me just change the location of this. All right, so you can see here the title is defined here and the description is here as well, right? Generated by create next app. So for example, if we change the title here to say next.js 13.2 app, right? And let's change the description to say this is a next.js 13.2 app save. All right, you see that now the title and the description has changed for our app. All right, so that's in the root layout. So that applies to your entire app. Okay, but what if you want route specific SEO? All right, so with Next.js 13.2, you can do that as well. All right, so for example, let's go to say back to our data list app or page. Yeah, so slash data list. All right, so you can see that in the head, Okay, you can see that it's still the same, right? Description, title and description, yeah. Okay, but if we go to page.tsx in data list, all right? And above here, okay, let's put in the metadata once again. All right, and let's change this to say next JS 13.2 data list. And for the description, let's change this to this is a data list page for our app. Save that. And you notice that the title and description has changed as well. Yeah. Okay, so watch what happens if we remove the title here. All right, or comment it out. So save that. And notice that the title changes back to our root layouts title right which you can see from here all right so this is the default title in the metadata okay so for next year starting point two this is what will happen okay it will fall back on the default the root layout metadata if you do not define a route specific metadata all right okay but next year starting point two doesn't stop there all right we can go one step further by having dynamic metadata right, based on dynamic routes. Yeah. Okay. So for example, if we have say, let's create a new directory under app. All right. Let's do that here. Let's call this products. Okay. I'm sure you know where this is going. ID and page.tsx. Yeah. All right, as usual, let's create our page.tsx. So this will be product. Let's call this product specific page. Yeah. And of course, because this is a dynamic route page, we're going to pass in params. Yeah. Okay. And okay. For here, we are just going to say this is for product params.id. Yeah. All right, so for dynamic route metadata, right, in addition to how we did it just now for specific route metadata, okay, in addition to the metadata itself, okay, we need to add a generate metadata function, right? So over here, you can see we need to import metadata from next slash types. And because we are using TypeScript, we need to define the params. Yeah, because we are getting the params from the route, hence the dynamic route. And we need to define this generate metadata function by passing in the params. Okay, and over here, you can see that same thing here. We are just returning the title and description, for example. Okay, but we are passing in the dynamic ID. 
Okay, so let's save this. So for example, now we are still on the data list page and you can see the title is Next.js 13.2 app and the description is saying this is a data list page for our app, right? Okay, but watch what happens when we change this to products slash one. All right, so it says this is for product one and let's take a look at our head portion here. You can see that our title is now product page one and the description says this is for product one. All right. Yeah, so that is how you can also configure dynamic metadata, right? For building SEO, starting from Next.js 13.2. Yeah. All right. I also want to talk a little bit about the new Next.js 13.2 cache, which is still in beta and data fetching as well. All right. So over here, back in our data list page, here we have of course, this is data list page and a link. Uh, actually, let's remove this. We do not need that. Okay, and we have this data server component, which is defined here. Okay, basically, we are just getting getting the data, which displays over here the title and description okay, of a random fake product. Okay, but watch what happens when we refresh the page. I notice that seems like nothing is changing and that is because by default in or rather from Next.js 13.2 onwards okay your fetches are cached until you invalidate them manually yeah okay which is why it seems like nothing is happening but the request is cached okay but watch what happens when we set the cache to no store uh, which basically tells Next.js 13 to refetch on every single request. So now back to the app on the right. If we refresh the app, okay, notice that for a split 1 to 1.5 seconds, you can see that it says retrieving data 1. Okay, and that is actually from the streaming UI here. Okay. Uh, provided by suspense yeah and of course data as a server component yeah okay if you do not know what server components are in next.js 13.2 okay be sure to watch the next.js 13 video okay i'll put the link somewhere here or in the description box below yeah so basically if you set the cache to no store this is what happens yeah all right so that is for not using the cache at all over here okay but if you want to use the cache but only for a specific time frame right you can use this a uh, revalidate and a specific time frame here so this is 10 seconds yeah and this will set next just button point two to only refresh or revalidate the cache once every 10 seconds yeah or rather after 10 seconds yeah okay so in general this will result in faster refreshes without network requests right or rather unnecessary network requests yeah all right there's just one last thing and that is about turbo pack in next.js 13.2 okay so over here in our next.js config File. For example, we have the new type routes setting to true. And if we want to start the app using Turbo Pack, okay, let's go to our terminal over here. So we might say yarn dash, yarn dev dash dash turbo. All right, enter. And you see an error message which tells you that for Next.js uh, 13. Turbo Pack does not, or rather, it only supports some of those features listed down here, yeah, uh, which does not include the new things, especially in Next.js 13.2. So, I would say, as of right now, when this video is released, do not use 
double pack with Next.js 13 for now. Yeah, you can use Webpack. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, for now. Yeah, I'm sure in the near future, this will get fixed. Or rather, the support for the new features will eventually be added for Turbo Pack. Yeah. All right. So what do you think about Next.js 13.2? Are you interested in some of its key new features and changes? Right, let us know in the comments below. And as always, be sure to subscribe and ring that notification bell if you have not already done so. And as always, stay awesome and stay safe, everyone. Trust man. Bye.